So our last and our final model is going to be the one-to-one. -one. And the one-to-one -one is great for what I call sub-models. It's great for putting models within your model. That's a lot of models. But in our case, we're going to make something called user-generated content. And whenever a user makes a comment, a lot of times it's very fun to see who created that comment. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to add a user model to our comment so that we can see the username. And the user is pretty much a sub model of our comment model. But what is the actual difference between a one to many and a one to one? Well, a one to many, if you notice here, has an array. This array is very important because it gives us the ability to add more than one object. This would be a representation of our comment model if it was a one to many, but we're not going to do that. The true difference between a one to one and a one to many is that the model is only going to have object brackets, and that is a very, very different thing than arrays. So our one to many is going to look like this. And this is the reason that a one to many is a one to many. There can be no other data added to it because there's no array here. It's just an object. How do we actually create a one to many in Entity Framework Core though? It's actually the easiest of the easy. All that you do is you add your user ID, you, use, you add the navigation property, and you don't add the list like you do with a one to many. There's no list on the other side. It's literally just the user ID and the navigation property, and that's it. So that's it. Let's go ahead, let's hop inside VS Code, and let's code it up. So let's go into our models folder, and we are going to pull up the comment model. And all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to say public string. We're going to match this with our app user ID. I'm going to say get set. I'm going to say public app user equal to app user and say get set and that's pretty much it so let's go let's cd into our api make sure that you're within the api i'm going to go dot net ef migrations add and i'm going to call this comment one two one and it succeeded it hung there for a little bit i was like getting scared okay then we're going to go dot net ef database update so let's go ahead and run this and while we're doing that i'm going to go ahead and start up sql server management studio so i'm going to go ahead and run it just to make sure that it is compiling looks good so let's go inside of sql server here let's go up to our database let's go to fidshark and let's make sure that it created the app user within our comments so I'm going to select the top 1,000 rows. And if you look, we now have the app user ID for the last column. So that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead. We'll move on to the next video where we're going to tackle user-generated comments. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.